I joined the land army, not a rodeo. So who put it about the sheep are docile? Rams, I dare say. <laughs> They're making themselves with the right old set of gal potting bow pots out there. What do you look like? Mm -hmm. Spying through them daft old things from the church jumble. Well, it cost one and six. Might as well use them. They come in handy for keeping an eye on the work. Such is what it is. Now come along, Bertha. Let's get that nasty winter coat off. You must be awfully warm under there. God. Same with my Aunt Dolly. Oh, she'd never oh. take a mink off in the heat wave. <laughs> come on, Mum. We said we could do it. You said we could do it. Follow me. I act to. If we can't do what a man can do, we'll be out on our ears. Dear old me, I ain't seen nothing like this since then times we used to try and get your old dad to take a bath. The <laughs> fair work ain't good enough for you. You did ought to get sharp off him. Ah, that I will. Never you fret. I'm abiding my time. I can't just tell him to go. And that there young Jenny, the, the cheeky one that can't talk proper. She knows her. She's a tidy little, little book of rolls with that's laid down here and it's laid down there. Do you ask me? She's the one that should be laid down. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I hope not. Now I've got them. They've give up on the job. And that there young Jenny's walked away leaving my sheep in that shape. Well, I wonder what the Breeding Book of Rules say about that. And what will Lady Bramson say about it? 